Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to talk about Nicobe Dean, the linebacker out of Georgia, went to the Eagles and try to kind of figure out whether his fall was warranted or not. Obviously, the main catalyst for his fall was the injury concern with his pec tear, but today we're going to dive into his tape to see if there was any red flags that also contributed to him falling all the way to the third round before the Eagles finally snagged him up at 86. And this is his 2021 game against Arkansas. And before we get into the tape, though, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed, and make sure to suggest more prospects down below as well as let me know your thoughts on Nicobe Dean and his whole draft falling situation. But without any further ado, though, let's get into the tape. So here's our first play. This is his first snap of the game. I think I, I think every Georgia defender I've done a video on has had their first snap of the game be some great play. I think Channing Tindall, which is a very similar look to this in this game against Arkansas that we looked at. And this is just going to be a great play from him. Just using, you know, great eyes in the run fit. He's patient. He slips through. He gets the tackle. They killed Arkansas this game. I'm an Arkansas fan. It was not fun to watch. I think it was 37-0. Just kind of dismantled us after our hot streak. But there's N'Kobe Dean right there. He sees this get into Traylon Smith's hands. And then just follows the play. He's unblocked. Dips through this little gap. And just IDs it and gets the big tackle. Just a great play. Great read from him. Now here's our next play. This gave me another one of him just blowing up the run, but it isn't going to be a run, so it's going to kind of throw him for a bit of a loop. He gets in the backfield, trying to get Traylon Smith, and oh, it's still KJ Jefferson, but he turns, gets the pressure, forces a short check down. Again, just this amount of quickness that he has, and there's going to be a lot of examples today, and I think this might have been a hold on Arkansas too, but you're going to see he gets right into the backfield. This is a run. Traylon Smith is gone, but he, he you know identifies that quickly turns on a dime with you know all this speed and still you know gets there nearly gets KJ Jefferson gets a little bit of a hit on him and that's another great rep now here is our next play this is going to be just another really good play of him getting you know around this offensive line which is not bad by the way we'll touch on that a bit more later but I mean Myron Cunningham got drafted uh the center Ricky Stromberg is a solid player like he's a good center but here's one where he's just gonna duck through this a duck around this stunt that they're you know with the stunt they're gonna run and just get into the backfield get KJ Jefferson on a big down I think this might have been a third down Arkansas ran so many quarterback draws out of empty on third down the first couple times they were pretty cool but they got old pretty quick but there's Nicobe Dean in the a gap and you know, next to like Jalen Carter, who also I'll probably make a video about sometime soon as he's going to be a really good player next year. Going to just swipe away Stromberg's hands, get all the way around. This tackle was not ready. Get into the backfield and, you know, off, you know, and this is not a good platform. KJ Jefferson looks like he's about to juke him out, but he somehow stays on his feet and just turns and gets KJ Jefferson for a big tackle for loss. And here's our next one. This is going to be another crazy just in sense of his explosiveness like this is absolutely ridiculous and he's going to get another tackle for loss on this play he's the only like you know i mean quay walker's going to back up a little bit but he's pretty much the only linebacker on this play and he's going to just somehow get through here and get Traylon smith in the backfield for a play that's hard to tell from that angle how impressive it is and it's going to be like i think he was down when the fumble happens but ricky stromberg again is like i think he's come back for like his fifth or sixth year he's a good player Actually, this is going to be on the guard. Okay, so we'll talk more about Ricky Stromberg later. This guard's going to try to, like, shoulder bump him, and then he's just going to dip through this gap. He's going to bounce off this guy. I think that's Brady Latham, I think. Dip through, and it's not even against Traylon Smith. I just can't get anyone's names right, but that's going to be a great play in the backfield against Dominic Johnson, who is a really powerful runner. And again, I mean, just this the way he just gets through this gap it's just how does he do it so so far i think our answer to the question is no his fall was not warranted but we have a lot more tape a lot more positive tape to be honest but these plays like this and plays like the like the you know one we just looked at make me less worried about his size each time because besides the whole injury thing that's the one concern with nicobe dean he's a small linebacker and he plays at like what 220 and most people want linebackers to be 230 235 at a minimum but I'm not worried about that. Even just putting him as like a dimebacker, if you don't, if you're not comfortable with him just playing Mike, I don't know. Just look at what he can do with his size and the way he can just beat blocks. This guy gets his hands on him. This guard gets his hands on him. Nicobe Dean just sheds it, gets around there, and makes another great tackle with momentum and still gets like a powerful hit on him. And again, even though he's a bit undersized, if he can just still toss guards like this, like sure, maybe. 
I mean, that's Ricky Stromberg again. So, I mean, this is a probably an NFL center. I don't know what his draft projection is right now, but I'm pretty confident he's going to be drafted next year, you know, at his current trajectory. And Nicobe is just going to easily get around him, just then just get a big hit on the ball carrier in the backfield. I mean, he does this consistently. I and mean, there's so many of these plays throughout this game. I mean, it's kind of, it's, it's kind of ridiculous what he can do. Now, here's another one, which I'm going to also label ridiculous. And this is just going to be an effort play. And he's going to end with a sack here. And I mean, just he's, he's something special. He's going to beat this, this tight end, this running back and just keep fighting and get this sack. And there's going to be a very similar one after this but you're just gonna see what he can do i mean this is um that's blake kern who's built like an offensive lineman in a lot of ways he is very thick at tight end he's just gonna easily he's gonna kind of fake like he's coming outside because kern's getting his feet out there cuts back inside kern gets one hand on him then he's going against rocket sanders true freshman running back does not have the power yet to stop nicobe dean nicobe dean just gonna get there get kj wrestle him to the ground Devonte Wyatt gets in there at the end wraps his feet just another great rep and it's something he does all the time. And now here's our last play. And if you saw my Channing Tindall video, which if you haven't already, go watch that too. I love, love, love Channing Tindall. And, you know, it's the same game. I touched on this play more from Channing Tindall's perspective, but I made sure, I mean, I was like, wow, that is an incredible play from N'Kobe Dean. And now we're going to look at that. I mean, I'm, I'm, almost, I'm almost speechless at how he's able to do this. And this is just a different kind of explosiveness that he has. He's calling this play right here. He's yelling at them to move. And he gets right up into the A-gap. Dip, dips around with incredible bend and again he's beating ricky stromberg who is not a joke at center like it look he's looking like it in this game it, um, as much as i love him but like nicobe dean is just something special we'll, we'll stop it right here as he's creeping up but like the speed and bend to get around this as we're watching full speed and then go back i mean how does he get through there and then keep ripping and get to the quarterback i mean just immediately because Stromberg sees him. There's no, like, again, I talked about this in another video. He's not, like, fooled and he gets caught, you know, with his eyes somewhere else. He's looking at him. And Nicobe just gets right there. Just Stromberg is not expecting him to be this fast. Gets there, has the speed, is pretty much past him, and then rips with his arm like he's an edge rusher. Has great bend, and you can see how his, I mean, look at his ankles. Look at that. He's planning on that, and then turns it into a big hit on KJ Jefferson in the backfield. Chain Tindall also got almost home there. And, I mean, just... What a play there from Nicobe Dean, and I think that's going to answer my question. No, he should not have fallen that far. I know the injury is a concern, and obviously teams have got to you know account for that because that's a big risk. But he's going to outperform the status. There's nothing we missed in the tape. There's nothing that you know he's going to get pushed around because he's small. I and mean, this is SEC linemen. These are good linemen. Not a great offensive line. I think it was the weakness of this Arkansas team, uh, personally. But still, he can do this at the NFL level, and as probably one of the premier guys in Philly once he gets healthy I think he's going to be the best linebacker in that linebacker core pretty fast and I think he's going to be able to just be a big time player at the NFL level he's smart he's explosive he's just he can do it all he can do it all at linebacker maybe he puts on a little bit of weight too sure but I don't care I love N'Kobe Dean he's the best out of the three Georgia linebackers I think that's pretty clear I love Channing Tindall and Channing Tindall is my, probably my favorite to watch because of how fun he is but I mean Quay Walker also great I'll probably make a video on him at some point but like N'Kobe Dean should not have fallen this far the Eagles got a steal Eagles fans you did really well and that's gonna end I guess this sounds like a rant but let me know what you think of N'Kobe Dean and this breakdown of course suggest more prospects for me to feature down below as well as like the video subscribe to the channel all that would greatly appreciate it. it goes a long way and with that i'm gonna end this one thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one peace